Get the tarp out. It's going to get messy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Love Out Railways. I'm Michael and today we're going to work on the coffee table layout again by molding the terrain that the trains will run across. Let's get started. I started building the train by lining up the piers for the bridge on the baseboard and gluing them down with Elmer's glue. After the glue dried, I added these 3% grade foam inclines from Woodland Scenics. I tested if my locos can climb them in my last video, where I learned that they could, but I may need to use less rolling stock than I was hoping for. Anyway, lining up the foam inclines and the risers next to the piers reveals a problem. The risers are three quarters of an inch each, so I could stack two of them to get one and a half inches. However, the bridge sits one and three quarters high. To get the last quarter of an inch, I cut off a short length at the beginning of an incline to reach the extra height. Then I cut the risers that will go underneath to the same length. Now the slopes line up perfectly with the odd bridge height. Repeat the process for the other side and we are good to go. The first time I laid down the foam inclines, I just pinned them in place. This allowed me to check how they look and align with the layout plan drawn on the baseboard and make any changes if needed. Once I'm satisfied with how it looked, I unpinned them, added Elmer's glue between each foam piece and the baseboard, and then pinned them back into place. I let the glue dry overnight before removing the pins and checking that everything is held down tight. Now things are about to get messy, so I cleared the area and lay down a tarp under the table. To create the terrain around the slopes, I'm using some old newspaper and covering it with Woodland Scenics plaster cloth. It's easy to do. I just rolled up the newspaper and taped them into place to form the rough shape of hills. Then I covered it with the plaster cloth. Just dip it in water to activate the plaster, rest it on top of the newspaper and inclines, then smooth out the plaster. The plaster cloth is supposed to have a smooth side and a bumpy side. One side is bumpy because it has more plaster, so put the cloth down bumpy side up so you can spread as much of the plaster around as possible. However, my sheets seem to be much more even, so I couldn't always tell if I was doing this. Either way, it came out looking just fine. To help smooth out the plaster cloth, I would sometimes dip my fingers in the water to re-wet the surface. Thank you. 
As I finished up, you can really see the difference between sections of the incline surrounded by newspaper versus sections that were left bare. If I could do this again, I would really make sure I was putting newspaper everywhere, even those tight sections. When I was done, I let the plaster cloth dry a little before I attempted to smooth over rough sections and sharp edges with some extra plaster. You may not see it from this angle, but I also took this as an opportunity to add some rock wall features. I simply took this extra rock wall piece I molded for the first layout and broke it into tiny pieces. Then I just plastered it into the side of the incline. I also took the time to plaster over the screw heads on the baseboard. Then I let the plaster dry for a week. I came back the next weekend and sanded the plaster smooth. I also removed any large chunks of plaster or plaster cloth that I thought would interfere with the roadbed. This left some rough areas, and there were still more areas from before that I wish I could have smoothed out a little bit better. So I decided to try something else. Woodland Scenics Foam Putty. After working some in, I realized that I probably should have skipped the extra plaster and just used the foam putty directly over the plaster cloth. Needless to say, I used a lot more of it than I thought I would. After I let it dry for two hours and sanded it smooth, I was very happy with the result. And there we have it. The coffee table is starting to look like a work of art. Well, that's all for today. But before you go, I wanted to ask a question. What landscape should I do for my coffee table? I was originally thinking of a green landscape similar to the one in my first layout, but I thought maybe I'll switch it up. Perhaps a dry, rocky desert? Or maybe a winter wonderland? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to Level Up Railways so you can catch upcoming videos where I'll see you in the next level. Goodbye.